got my delicious Chilean sea bass at Costco and we are making the best gourmet Chilean sea bass. So let me show you how the package look like. This is where I get mine and it's worth the money. It's a, a little close to an ounce each and there's about five to six individually uh, pre-packaged and vacuum. It's so great to have. I washed, rinsed, and patted with paper towel to get all the liquid out. But look at that, thick. And look at the color of the flesh, very fresh looking. I'm gonna show you my marinade. First, we have the sesame oil, then ginger. This is our dill. This is our salt, white miso paste. And this goes in after cooking, which is the habanero pineapple glaze. First, before anything else, I want to preheat my oven at 350. So go ahead and do that now. Set it 350 and preheat. I have my ginger here that I sliced, but I want it in a, I'm gonna move this aside, in a more little like skinny shoestring matchstick size. So I'm gonna just gonna cut it very thin like this. I have my dill here. I'm just gonna rough chop it. I want to see a little bit of the beautiful leaves. One tablespoon of dill, one tablespoon of fresh ginger, two tablespoon of sesame oil for two pieces of fish. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my one fourth teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white miso paste. That's all I need for my fish. I'm just gonna mix it in now, the paste. Okay, now that it's all mixed in, I'm gonna bring it to my fish. I'm just gonna take some, say half of what I have here on top, and the other half here. I'm just gonna smear it around. That's how easy it is. You can have a meal within less than 10 minutes. That quick and easy. Now let's go to our stove and sear this sea bass for about a minute before we put it in the stove. I just want to show you this beautiful flower plant arrangement. My facialist, Annie, dropped it off to uh, let me have this because she said that this will brighten my day and make my setting beautiful and she's right. So thank you so much, Annie. I so appreciate it, you're so sweet. I'm using avocado oil today. If you never use avocado oil, it's really good for frying. I feel like it doesn't absorb as much and it doesn't make your food as greasy. So um, I use it with my sea bass. So I'm just gonna put like one tablespoon worth of oil to coat my pan so it can sear. Heat is about medium heat and I'm using just a smaller pan to sear my fish because it's just a small portion. Okay, let's start with one. I'm gonna let this sear for about one minute. Then I'm gonna turn off the heat and put it in the oven and have it cook for about another three to five minutes. That's all the time you need to have a perfect, flaky fish. Looking good. I'm going to let it sit for another 20 seconds. I'll check again at three minutes. It's been three minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take out my fish from the oven. Check on the bottom. Ooh, wow, nice. Check. This is a little thicker, but look at that. I'm gonna let this rest. And if you just put your little spatula on top, it feels firm, so this is perfect. It was in the oven for three minutes, and it's done. I'm gonna let this rest because I'm gonna whip up another side dish to go with the fish. This is a fishito peppers and 
Some are hot, some aren't, so let's find out. But I love eating these when you go to uh, a Japanese restaurant and you do their little barbecue and they would grill this. This is amazing. But I'm gonna stir fry this for you. Add in about one tablespoon of avocado oil. Add in my shallots. Add in my ginger. About one or two tablespoons. And right or wrong with how much you want to put in, the more the better. This saute this for about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm just going to add these peppers in here, just like that. Mix it all in. Let this cook for about five minutes as well. If you want to constantly turn this so it doesn't burn on one side. So we're going to go ahead and put on final toppings for our fish and our peppers. Remember the Costco habanero pineapple sauce? We're just going to take a little spoon and top it on that. It's going to bring so much flavor out. Look at that. And then this is from Trader Joe's. Everything but bagel sesame seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle some here. And that's our meal. Doesn't that look great? So healthy as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like and comment, please. I'm open to any suggestions that you may have. And I look forward to cooking more for you. Thank you. Bye.